I'm here with Mr. Lynn Turner, former Chief Accountant at the SEC. Thank you for joining me. Good to be here today. I, um, I just wanted to ask you, what do you think the most important thing regarding this current crisis is that everybody should know? Well, I think at the end of the day, the real root cause was the fact that banks made uh, very poor, ill-advised loans and that that has to be uh, corrected. But I also think it's equally important that those who created such a destructive effect on tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of Americans, be held accountable for those actions. How, how would you go about bringing that type of change to the current system? I think one thing that we really haven't had yet uh, that did occur back at the time of the start market crash in uh, the 1930s, early 1930s, was an honest-to-goodness investigation to determine who it was that had actually done uh, the, the damage, who had engaged in illegal activities and behavior. We really haven't had that type of investigation out of the Department of Justice, out of the Securities and Exchange Commission, or any of the other law enforcement agencies. I think we need that type of investigation. And then, based on the findings from that, for those who are found to have violated the law, I think they need to be prosecuted to the fullest extent possible and feel the swift sword of justice. And why do you think there hasn't really been a formal investigation as of yet? I think probably Senator Dick Durbin from Illinois has said it best. He says, the banks own us. <laughs> and I think it's the influence of the banking, the Wall Street lobby, that has uh, resulted in a lack of prosecution. I think they own Washington, D.C. So would you think it's a fair assessment to say that until there's true campaign finance reform, there really can't be a reform of the financial system? Yeah, I think until we have uh, a re revision uh, to the laws so that people can't buy Congress, can't buy the White House, until we have that, uh, we won't get uh, ultimately the fix here that we need to prevent a, a repeat of this uh, terrible lesson. I personally don't think we'll get that until we even have a greater meltdown mm -hmm. than what we've just had. Perhaps it'll take a depression to get us to that point. Hopefully that doesn't occur. Um, you mentioned in your speech today that you had four attorneys, I believe, at the SEC really working to prosecute these people, that the budgets had been cut for the regulators. The, the budgets at, at the SEC were unfortunately cut back in 2007, uh, seriously hand-stringing. In essence, Congress was putting handcuffs not on the people breaking the law, but on the agencies who are responsible for enforcing uh, the laws. In the prosecution against Goldman on the notable, well-known, widely reported Abacus case, there were just four attorneys in wow. total at the SEC uh, to prosecute that case. If you'd looked on the other side, there undoubtedly were dozens of attorneys uh, that they were fighting against in what was clearly a David versus Goliath type fight. Right. And regarding regulators and the bankers, there seems to be some sort of mismatch between the incentives that the bankers have to circumvent regulations and the incentives of the regulators and that a lot of these bankers' incomes are tied to being able to get around regulations. They can make a lot of money by doing so, so they're going to be able to work really around the clock, whereas the regulators don't seem to have that same incentive. Um, do, would you be able to comment on that? Do you think that's true? Is there a way to fix that? Well, certainly coming out of the financial crisis, we saw bankers uh, paid record amounts of bonuses, you know, topping a hundred billion dollars, phenomenal, just a year after we'd had to bail them all out, uh, which 
I think highlights uh, a real problem, a real shortfall, real shortcoming in corporate governance at those institutions. Um, that type of incentive, when anyone can do a single transaction and make enough money that they're fixed for life, their security is insured, and they never have to worry again, that drives human behavior. Uh, and it has driven uh, the way the Wall Street behaves. Uh, it, it is a very serious uh, problem. You've got to be able to improve the corporate governance, uh, which hasn't occurred, which corporate America has recently been able to detour through the courts. Uh, and you've got to have regulators that are willing to prosecute these people when, as in the Abacus transaction, they, or others, they break the law. Uh, unfortunately, in many of the cases, we haven't seen those prosecutions. In the SNL crisis, in which American taxpayers had to pay 125 or there about billion, ultimately, as an in cost, we saw over a thousand people prosecuted. It basically affected three states in this country. This financial crisis, which has destroyed the jobs at great cost for tens of millions of Americans, has impacted people in every single state, has impacted people around the globe. We've prosecuted 39 people. Wow. You've got to wonder, if there's a question about compensation, you almost have to wonder, why are we paying the prosecutors for such a lousy job? And then moving forward, what do you think the most important thing that the government can do, the SEC can do, to help get us out of this mess we're currently in? I think if there's one thing that we need to do, we need to go hold people accountable for this. I'm certainly uh, a fan of improved regulation and derivatives, which were regulated. I'm a uh, fan of ensuring that the banks aren't able to put taxpayer money at risk through risky trading or activities. But ultimately, the way you get the attention of Wall Street, and the only way you change their behavior, is you take those who break the law and you put them away for a long, long time and find them enough that it takes away their fortunes and impacts their security. Until you do that, you will never change what happens on Wall Street. Well, thank you very much. On behalf of New Economics Perspectives, I would like to thank you as well. <laughs> Best of luck. Thank, thank you. you.